Hey guys, Robbie Calvo here, talking to you today about chicken picks. Now I've been using these picks for a while for a variety of reasons. Now I like a really heavy pick, and when I say heavy I mean the width of it, and this is 2.2 millimeters. Now they are super lightweight, they weigh next to nothing, they are durable white plastic, so you never lose these guys. And they've got this beautiful chamfered edge all the way around the pick. So each side is tapered from the middle of the pick out towards the edge. So regardless of whether you use the point like this or the edge like I do on a pick, it's got this transition from the meat of the pick, if you like, out to the edge. Now, there's a couple other reasons I really like these picks. When I'm playing live, I get super hot and sweaty and my picks get stuck on my hand. And I transition a lot between holding my pick under my little finger when I'm finger picking to grabbing the pick and playing single note lines. And when you've got a, um, a shiny pick, they tend to get stuck and you can't move them. Now these have a super flat finish to them, almost chalky in feel to them. And they never get sticky and they never stick to you. So I can transition between fingers and pick really quickly, right? So that's one other really great thing about them. And they come in a variety of sizes and shapes which you saw from the pictures and you can see from their website. This jazz pick here is even a 3.6 millimeter, so super fat and wide. And the other thing that you probably know about me is I'm a tone fanatic, so everything has to be about how something sounds. So I'd never use a pick that didn't sound good to me. Now these picks actually sound like my fingers when I transition between the two things. So I never compromise how I actually want to sound with the pick that I'm using. So these chicken picks are incredible for that. They give me the weight or the, the width that I really, really like. And you know, they never compromise, they never scratch, bend or anything else. Now to just show you a little bit of me transitioning between fingers and pick and the sound of them. Okay, so you heard me going from, you know, fingers to the pick, back to fingers again. And it translates who I am. You know, my fingers, I believe, are the source of my tone. And the pick really does translate and transduce that then into the strings, the pickups, and everything else. So it's an incredible, um, very important part of the signal chain. So don't ever, you know, think that your pick is not going to impart tone. It does, all right? Anyway, do yourself a favor. Check out the different sizes, widths, and varieties that Chicken Picks offer. So you can find those at chickenpicks.com. They have this really nice leather key fob as well to carry your picks in. And uh, I just really, really love them. I think they're an amazing product. So please check those out at chickenpicks.com. If you're curious about this guitar and the sound I'm getting, this is the Godan Passion Custom. And I did a video on this as well. So if you want to see more about this guitar, go to Robbie Calvo Guitar on my YouTube uh, channel and you can watch my videos, you can see me playing live as well and the, the demo I did of this guitar I'm using the chicken picks as well so if you want to hear that more go to my channel, my YouTube channel. Anyway, check them out, I think they're amazing and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.